Greetings all humans and welcome, oh yeah, to another TJD baby, oh yeah, it's mine. Today, or actually right now, <coughs> you see my notes? <coughs> Since it's still January, <coughs> I want to take this wonderful opportunity to still do the New Year's resolutions book tag because it's never too late to start resolutions, right? So 12 questions, let, let's do this quick like. Question number one, an author you'd like to read that you've never read before? Uh, Murakami. I've heard so much of Murakami that I really, really am very curious as to how it's going to be for me. So we'll check it out. We'll let you know. Because that's what you do. You read, you review, and you refer. Question number two, a book you'd like to read. There are plenty of books I'd like to read. Uh, right now, top of mind that I really want to read, there's two um, that, I'm, that I haven't started. One is The Dark Tower, uh, the first book, The Gunslinger, The Dark Tower from Stephen King. The second one is American Gods. I do own both books, and I do hope to get to them sooner rather than later. <coughs> Question number three, a classic you'd like to read. Uh... A Christmas Carol. I've never read A Christmas Carol. And, and also, you know what? Um, the Jungle Book. I like to read those two. Um, I do have several others that I'm going to read. Um, I'm finishing reading Slowpoke like uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray because I'm reading it on the phone. And that does not inspire me to plow through it. So, yeah. And another that's on my to-do and to-to-read list but it's also part of the research is Paradise Lost. <laughs> Sometimes you want something dense. Next question, number four, a book you'd like to reread. I think Dune and Unlondon, I've been recommending both a lot lately, and it just made me think of how much I love both books and uh, how much I really want to revisit both of them to give them a proper uh, video read. Uh, question number five, a book you've had for ages and ages and want to read. The Silmarillion. I've had that book for so long and I've never got into it. Um, currently reading Lord of the Rings, so after Lord of the Rings might go to Silmarillion or Children of Hurin. I think I should start with the Silmarillion. That one was supposed to be before everything, but hey, reading is reading as long as I enjoy it, right? <coughs> Number six, a big book you'd like to read, uh, War and Peace and It. Uh, those two are pretty chunky, and I do want to read them um, because I don't know if I'm ever going to write a book that long, uh, but if I do, that eh, awesome. I do have a project that if you compile everything together, it's going to be longer than that, but that's another topic for another day or year. Question number seven. An author you've previously read and want to read more of. I want more Gaiman, I want more Pratchett, and I want more Douglas Adams. Uh, because they're fun, witty, brilliant, and... For different reasons. Neil Gaiman, um, I, it's just the author that I read and I go like, man, that's something that, that hits the spot. Uh, Terry Pratchett, his love of the written word was amazing, and I'm enjoying his work so much. And Douglas Adams, I want to read some of his nonfiction. I was recommended it uh, recently, <coughs> so I, I do want to do that. Um, and number eight, a book you got for Christmas and would like to read. All of them, but starting with, with Mort by Terry Pratchett. That's just uh, book four in the Discworld. I think those would be... I want to read all of them. I want to read a lot of what I got for Christmas and that I have here so that I can <coughs> truly decide what I keep and what I uh, donate to either schools or libraries or something. Um, because I, after the move, I, I am hell-bent on decluttering. And, and sharing the wealth more than that. You know, 
how many times am I going to read that book? If, if it's something that really hits home, I'm going to keep it. If it's something that I like a lot, I might not. Um, but with so much that I have to read, I really want to give, uh, give these books um, a second life. Mm, number nine, a series you want to read, start to finish, Dark Tower. Haven't started it, want to start it, want to plow through that bad boy. Um, number 10, a series I want to finish that I already started, His Dark Materials. Read the first book, was blown away. Uh, need to get me books two and three. It's that. <coughs> Question 11, do you set reading goals? If so, how many books <coughs> you want to read in 2017? Although I did answer this in another, in another um, video. <coughs> I'll just cough through this. I'll mention it again, uh, 44. <coughs> Damn it. And number 12, any other reading go reading, any other reading goals? Uh, I will review everything I read and to read a lot more indie authors. Those are the two things that I want big time. Uh, I do have some nonfiction books that I'm going to be reading. I do have poetry books that I'm going to be reading. But the things that I want to focus on are indie books because being an indie author I know how hard it is to get uh, the word out and I want to help my fellow indie authors because there's some fantastic stories out there that people have no idea because you can't find them at Barnes & Noble so I'll, I'll do several videos on that and several videos on these indie authors I'm currently reading three indie books I will review video review each of them so stay tuned for that as for tagging uh, for this one, I didn't think of anyone specifically since it's so late in, in January, so I'm going to hold off. If you do feel compelled to do this tag, by all means do it. Uh, I do have several tags lined up that I'm going to be tackling, but for now, peace, love, and Mikey Rolls. <coughs>